my name is Tammy Anderson. Many of you around Pelham know me as the wife of Pelham baseball and football coach, Sean Anderson. Others know me as a local real estate professional, and others know me as an active community volunteer who had to take some time off the past couple of years. Well, today I am here as an awareness advocate. I'd like to tell you about an awareness campaign that is dear to my heart. The month of September is GYN Ovarian Cancer Awareness Month, and September 1st kicks off an awareness campaign called the State of Teal. The early beginnings of this statewide awareness campaign were started by Can Survive Support Group about five years ago to spread awareness about this silent killer. Can Survive is an initiative of the Laura Crandall Brown Foundation and is currently sponsored solely by them. The first lighting of the state capitol was in 2012 with local municipalities joining the following year. In addition to the capitol and municipalities declaring September as GYN Cancer Awareness Month, other local businesses are also joining us in showing support for awareness by displaying these posters in their windows or signs in front of their businesses, along with lighting their locations with teal lights at night. You may ask, why teal? Teal is the cancer awareness ribbon color for ovarian and GYN cancer. Why the need for awareness? Currently, there is no test for most GYN cancers. While pap smears are necessary, they only detect cervical cancers. I know firsthand. I had routine yearly pap smears, with my last one being in the spring of 2014, and less than six months later was diagnosed with stage three ovarian cancer. I knew I hadn't felt well and something was wrong with my body, but just didn't know exactly what it was. I was even first misdiagnosed as having colon cancer because the largest tumor was first found growing into my colon. I will always wonder if I had known the BEAT acronym for symptoms, could it have been diagnosed sooner before it spread to my colon? The less it spreads, the less chance of it reoccurring. Did you know that only 25% of the women diagnosed with stage four ovarian cancer usually survive five years? Thankfully, this month is my second anniversary of my diagnosis and currently no evidence of disease and no reoccurrences. Help spread the BEAT acronym and light up till in September. Even the men in my life can help us spread awareness of symptoms as this currently is our only defense against this disease. BEAT stands for bloating that is persistent, eating less and feeling fuller, abdominal pain, and trouble with your bladder or stools. Thanks for allowing me to share about a state of till, and we hope you will join our effort to spread awareness in September. For more information, visit estateoftill.org or support our research fundraising efforts by donating to my Head Over Till team, Till Out Pelham with Tammy Anderson.